I'm ready. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm with Mox Creek Minutemen. And uh, I'm going to ask a question here. Hopefully, they, the one I want to ask is on a background check, it says there's going to be a background check for a weapon, or if it is a weapon, what on the background check will deter a citizen from obtaining a weapon? The reason some of you may know the answer to this already, but our group is about education and understanding the laws. So, with that question, do you like to answer it? There's quite a number of things that will prohibit you from getting a pistol permit. And you know, I'm going to try to find it. Uh, the prohibitor for pistol permit is. And I'm going to read them because there's so many, and we don't deal with them every day. Uh, our pistol sergeant is not here, but uh, they have to undergo, um, uh, they have to come in, first of all, and show ID, a picture ID. And that means if they have a driver's license or if they have uh, an ID from the Department of Motor Vehicles. That ID and the address that you give have to be the same. And uh, when you give that address and your ID, then we start what we call a process of, of going through the court records, NCIC, there's several of these things. I want to make sure I tell you because, like you said, it's education. You have to be a resident of North Carolina, have to appear in person, you have to complete the application. This is to get a pistol permit now, and you have to be 18 years of age. Now, the 18-year-old cannot buy from a dealer, but he can buy from an individual. So the criminal history is checked through the courts, through the SBI, the FBI. The only real bad thing about the pistol permits is if you have a mental challenge, somebody that comes in and, and doesn't tell you the truth. There's a block you have to check, and if he checks he's okay, we can't really check his mental status until he signs a form and there's not a requirement for him to sign the form on the pistol permits. There is only concealed carry. So do you understand that? That's the, the thing that I wish we could get a little bit more control over. The problem is the numbers of pistol permits that we issue, it would tie up, I guess, mental health and the hospitals and everything else. But to me, that's more important than just letting a person walk out on the street and get a gun. Any questions? Uh, Jerry, anything you guys want to add? I would like to say something. I'm from Granville County, and I spoke to our sheriff and our deputy sheriff before I came down here tonight, and they said, let the people keep the guns. That's, that's their uh, say. Well, they let me tell you something, folks. Nobody's going to take your guns. I, I can take that. Right. I, I can stand here and tell you that. I'm not like uh, Kerry. Uh, I'll quit first, but nobody's going to take your guns. That's uh, almost impossible. If you look all over the country, this country was, the founding fathers said you have the right to carry arms. And the law abiding system is not going to tolerate somebody taking their guns. That's the bottom line. I, I mean, I, I know a lot of people's on emotional high, and a lot of people get concerned when something like this happens, and it's a tragedy, and no question. But they will not take your guns unless you're a felon or somebody that does something stupid. Then you need to lose your gun. Yeah. And I'd, also, I'd also like to finish adding that I'm the mayor of, in Grammar County and I'm presenting this to our board members Tuesday night. Well, thank you for being here, Mayor. We appreciate that. Here in, in Wake County last year, we had 22,000 plus pistol permits. That's a lot of background checks, a lot of mental health checks if it goes to that. But to me, it's, it's that important. I have a question. Question. If we subscribe the law, the hypothetical law, that would be so egregious to the Second Amendment that you would decide not to enforce that law and that you would not hand your badge in for so that you could continue to not enforce that law. Describe that law. That would be the, the final draw, the final line in the sand where you would say, no way, you can have a law in the book, but I ain't enforcing it. What, what Describe you can, this law. Well, you can what if anything. That, like we said earlier, I think all three sheriffs said the same thing. We only enforce the law. What happens is that law goes through our Congress, our Senate, right on through the judiciary. Everybody knows how that happens. 
as a sheriff, we are sworn to uphold the law in the United States Constitution and North Carolina, those of us in North Carolina. So if it comes down, and this law has been tested by the courts and it's constitutional, if we don't uphold our part, then we can get booted out of office. So that's when you make the decision. Sheriff Harris, let me ask you, you said earlier that, and you're intimating now, and I would agree that the sheriffs are obliged to enforce constitutional laws. Would you hold that the Supreme Court has the sole authority to decide that? Because I think we saw, and I'm not getting political here, but I think there are people on all sides of the Obamacare issue and the Supreme Court says it's constitutional. So if there were a, a, a law about firearm ownership and the Supreme Court said it was constitutional, under those certain circumstances, could you see people being disarmed in your county? The question is, if the Supreme Court rules that the, that the law is constitutional, could you see people being unarmed, I think he said, in, in Wake County? By law, yes, because the Supreme Court is the ones to find it, uh, says it's uh, constitutional. That's not going to happen, folks. I can tell you that's not going to happen. And you can put your thumb down all you want to, but I'm just telling you the law. I'm here to tell you what the law is. I can't interpret the law any other way than what it's written. So, that, you know, we're not going to get in a... A peeing contest, as the old says, goes. I'm just trying to tell you what we are. We will do what's right because if we don't, we don't need to be in. We don't need to have this badge on. And I've been doing this 45 years. And but I can tell you, folks, they're not going to take your guns. However, sir, when a law is passed by Congress, the law is enforced. Correct. Well, if, yet if somebody challenges it, that's when it goes through the, the All right, proper process. Now the law is challenged. And it takes two years to get to the Supreme Court. What happens in the time? That They're not going to take your guns. It's going to be a state. Good example is these poker games, the uh, sweet state games. You see what's happened there. That's a good example. And uh, right now, I don't know what Jerry and, and Carrie's doing, but I'm not doing anything because the law's not clear. All right. That's what I want to hear. The various different sheriff's departments Maintain electronic records of gun registrations. If they do, how secure are those? And to be accessed by the Fed, and just try to go around. Well, anything, when once you get a pistol permit, folks, remember this. It's not that Carrie, Jerry, and myself want to give it to WRL or Channel 11, who's here tonight, and Channel 14, or whoever is here. Uh, that's public information. We don't have any control over that. And that's something that you have to take up with your legislators. There's one standing back there talking to him tonight before he leaves. But that's public information. We get the blame for it, but that's what the law says. And, and answer to your question, no, uh, all of it's not on electronic devices. I'm sure some of the eastern counties are not. It seems like that so many people the news observer, the news media, does not know what an assault weapon is. Yeah. 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 It is not. Now, I'm not going to go into much. I don't want to go back. I put it away. But I know what an assault weapon is. Baseball bat. Uh, Cats on. Yeah. No. No. The simple configuration of a rifle does not make it an assault weapon. Yeah! I want you to tell this crowd what an assault weapon is come from official. I know what it is, and I'm sure you do. Well, many of you won't agree on what an assault weapon is, and everybody's got their own opinion, and that's why you hear so much stuff about it today. Uh, you know. What people don't understand, some of these AK-47s and these type weapons are used for target shooting. Do they need that high capacity magazine? That's the question to ask. I mean, and that's the thing that you go to your congressman and your legislators and you ask. And I don't, when the, as I said, and Carrie and Jerry can stand up here and, and give us their thought. We've got to do what the law says. Like I say, I've had guns all my life. And I still will keep a gun. And like I tell y'all, they're not going to take your gun, whether it's assault weapons or not. Are they going to put some restrictions on them? I don't know. They tried that once before. 
and it showed it didn't work. But I guarantee you they're going to try to do it again. Jerry, y'all want to come in?